Oh boy. Oh boy. This has probably already triggered some people. I know. Chill out. Just chill out just for a hot second. Just for a hot second. Because, you know, we are talking about Shakiri Richardson. But on this channel, we call her Forrest Gump. There are various reasons why we've called her that. But today she is Shakiri Richardson. Right? She's Shakiri Richardson. I know a lot of you guys are having a headache of this one already. But we're going to explain to you why you are having a headache and what you can do about it. If you don't want to see that headache anymore. So we about to get the party started with the Richardson train. That's what we should call it. It's the Richardson train. But first, I want to say hey to all the haters. I want to say hey to all the haters that just hate this channel so much. They hate that we give the perspective that we do a full out perspective because we talk the business on this channel and we talk the entertainment on this channel because it's always important for athletes to get paid. I just did a video called Sexy Asher Smith because that's Dina Asher Smith's nickname on this channel. But before we get into the content, remember you are watching Head and Shoulders ATR, where we cover athletes, performances, and otherwise that are head and shoulders above the rest. And look, quite frankly, do you think it's fair that Shakari Richardson is getting more attention than the Olympic champion Elaine Thompson Hero? Do you think it's fair that she's uh, potentially going to make more money than people that have done so much more than she's done in the sport? For example, Elaine Thompson here is 29 years old, five times Olympic gold medalist, done something that no other female athlete has done before, which is to get the one and the two in two consecutive Olympics. She got a silver in the uh, four by one as part of the four by one Jamita relay in Rio. But then she came back to get the gold as part of that team here in Tokyo. She's a, a world championship gold medalist as well as a silver medalist. All right, cool. She's got the second fastest time in history behind Flojo in the 100 and the 200. Then we got Shelly Ann Fraser Price, the legendary Shelly Ann Fraser Price, Elaine Thompson, Heroes Mortal as well as Shelly Ann Fraser Price, but she's legendary in a different way. 34 years old, hitting new PRs, third fastest time in history in the 100, three times Olympic gold medalist, four-time Olympic silver medalist, bronze at the Olympics, and nine world championship golds. Should she be getting more attention than her? And here's one other person I want to bring up. It'll be easier if I just go to the women's 400 here. But should we include Allison Felix? She has the most medals out of any athlete, male or female, at the Olympics. Man, she's been doing this since she's been a teenager. Don't forget, 35 years old. So she was younger when she first started her first Olympics. And even Shelly Ann Fraser Price, she's got seven Olympic golds, three Olympic silvers, one Olympic bronze medal, and 12 world championship golds. Now, a lot more of those, um, and she's dominated in that 200. Don't forget, she had that three-piece. She was probably ready to go four, but she had gotten injured um, leading up to that year where she even pulled up in the final. And people were like, well, it didn't look like she was going to do it. She was injured the whole year. It was so crazy. Shelly Ann Fraser Price didn't break 22 seconds. You telling me Allison Felix couldn't have pulled that out when she had done that already that year? Hey, uh, you know what? But anyway, it is what it is, right? Now, let's look at something here. Is it fair that she's doing it? Should it be right that she's getting it? Well, let's look at something very quickly. Here is Dina Asher Smith. Let's zoom in a little bit here so everybody can see this very clearly. And remember, we were talking about sexy Asher Smith with these uh, uh, the pictures. She'd be posting the stuff up herself on her Instagram, on her, uh, everything that she's doing with Vogue, coming out for uh, GQ and all that stuff. Now, here. She's got 900, or not 900, 90.5K followers. Here we go on uh, Instagram, which I think they're going to have more followers overall on their Instagram than they have on their Twitter. I think that's pretty consistent through. So 649,000 followers for Shelly Ann Fraser Price. Hey, of course, when you got a sprint queen like that, mommy rocket, pocket rocket, of course. Now, looking at her uh, Twitter, 207,000, right? 
Let's look at Usain Bolt for comparison. Usain Bolt controlling a lot with 10.6 million. All right. Cool, cool. Elaine Thompson Hero, fastest woman alive. And many of you actually have stated that you would have rather liked Elaine Thompson Hero to get second to Shelly Ann Fraser Price. This is crazy, right? Now, she's got uh, 58.9K followers on her uh, Twitter. Now, let's look at her Instagram. She's got 500 or 452,000. Can I not read today? Can I not read the numbers? How am I messing up on the numbers? Basic stuff. Now we're going to go over to Allison Felix. That's the last one. Then we're going to go over to Richardson. But she's got almost half a million followers. Nice, decent, for the fastest woman in the world. Now, Allison Felix got 1.1 million on Instagram. Let's look at her uh, Twitter. 759.4 thousand. All right, 759,000. All right, let's zoom in a lot more so you can see this. Allison Felix, 759,000. All right, nice. And the reason why I'm, I'm comparing it women to women, except for Usain Bolt, I had to give the comparison with Usain Bolt here uh, just because of that. Now, here's Lolo Jones. Now, a lot of you are going to be like, wait a minute, why is he bringing up Lolo Jones? Remember, as she said on her bio, I was one hurdle away from Olympic gold. I hit a hurdle and changed it all. All right. Now, she's never, she doesn't have an Olympic medal behind her name, if I am not mistaken. I will bring it up, but I'll let you guys in the comment section go and uh, be the police. Be like, well, you're wrong. I like I like when my haters come out and start uh, trying to trash talk me. But she's got 384,000 followers on her Instagram. Let's look at her Twitter. Or no, that was her Twitter. Let's look at her Instagram. Okay, she's got over half a million, 580K. Now, let's look, look at Shakari Richardson. All right, younger, done less in the game uh, than everybody else. Here we go. Here we go. 542,000 542, followers. Okay, over half a million. Oh, my goodness, 2.4 million. 2.4 million. What is going on here? Many of you are confused. How does she have 2.4 million followers? Okay, here we go. Let's look at this. Let's look at this because I know a lot of y'all, like I said, a lot of y'all out here got your panties in your bunch. Got your panties bunched up. You're over like, wait a minute, what's going on? Yes. Oh, yeah. Don't forget that she did go to Europe and then she did win uh, at least a 200 before this year. You got to be fair to her, right? And remember this, she she would beat Tiana Daniels in NCAAs, but in the professional career, in a professional career, Tiana Daniels now has two, I call it two W's over her at the uh, the American trials. Because remember, when she got suspended for smoking that ganja, that doesn't count. So the first one was in 2019, where she just straight out uh, obliterated Richardson at the USA Championships for Doha, and she's the only American in the 100 that's made the final. Very interesting, right? But what does that get you? What does that get you? Tiana Daniels, we could go over her profile right now, but it's gonna be very similar to everybody else that I just showed. Richardson is running away and ahead of the pack when it comes to the followers, when it comes to uh, people that are here. I mean, it's people up and down on freaking YouTube that are using her uh, to get the views. I have tried to stay away from that. But today we're going to talk about the business aspect of that. Let's look at who has the most followers worldwide. And you know what? I could bring this up. I brought it up in the past one. Take my word for it, except for you can do the research for it. When we have our live stream, I'll back this one up. Cristiano, remember, we got three footballers here, or as is known in the USA, soccer. One, here's Lionel Messi. That's two. And then we got Neymar Jr. That's three. I don't know who Varat uh, Coley is. That could be a, uh, uh, a footballer. But here we go. We got three that otherwise they're actors and other types of entertainers in here. They're actors and music. That's what you got that dominates social media in general. Yet we got an athlete here who also happens to be the highest paid athlete. Isn't that kind of crazy? They get Instagram influence. 
And you could look at his Twitter. It's the same. Here we go. Most follow athletes uh, there. Most of them, they're just going to be soccer players with the exception of LeBron James right here. But most of them are going to be footballers, right? And it matches up that Cristiano Ronaldo is also the highest paid athlete. Here it is as of, and these are 2017 numbers, okay? 2017. They're much higher. They're much higher now, okay? You go through this list. You can pause it, go back, slow it down. If you're playing it on 2X, le uh, not leverage, 2X speed, right? Now, how does that add up? How does this add up? What does this make sense for Shakari Richardson to get 2.4 million? Doesn't matter how she got it at this point. Doesn't matter. People are going to whine and complain how she got it. But at the end of the day, does she, is it fair that she got it? Yes. It is completely 100% fair. Does she deserve having it? Of course. She got it. Uh, however, that way, you know, people can force feed. I, I think that media is force feeding uh, Richardson down our throat, right? But guess what? Compare her to Elaine Thompson here. Interviews, boring. Let me say it loud for you guys. I've said it before. Interviews, boring. Usain Bolt himself. Here's Usain Bolt right here. He said that himself, <laughs> this is a very interesting picture. He said himself that Shakira Richardson brings, she's, she's exciting. She brings something to the sport. He said it himself, most athletes are boring. They go out there and it's boring to watch them. I think it's okay to admit that. A lot of people are fans of the people. They're like, oh, fast, fast, fast. That's all that's needed. No, not that many people are watching track and field because the athletes themselves are boring. You, uh, uh, Elaine Thompson here is being a little bit more entertaining this year. And she is a little bit with her celebrations. But when it comes to interviews, when it comes to uh, whether she's going to bring a little bit of spice uh, talking about the other women. Remember, Usain Bolt did talk some talk there. He didn't do it as much, but he was an entertainer when it came there. Look, she's even getting animations made after where she was given the quote unquote boot after uh, she won the USA trials. But if you don't like that, you can get out of here. You can take it out of here. You can go out there foul. Red card, get off the channel. Here, what's the difference between Usain Bolt and Shelly Ann Frazier Price? Shelly Ann Frazier Price doesn't typically entertain her crowds. Yeah, she might be a little bit funny. And I, I will say that. That's why she has more followers than Elaine Thompson Hero, even though Elaine and also her performances consistently. But remember, you guys may be in track, uh, track and field athletes, right? And you got the insulated crowd. But remember, there's more to the world than track and field. And I can guarantee you this. I can guarantee you this. I know many of you will talk more about Shakardi B, Forrest Gump, Shakari Richardson, than you will talk about Elaine Thompson Hero because you don't like her. You'll talk about her more than Shelly Ann Fraser Price. You'll talk about her more than Sharika Jackson. You will talk about her more than that. And I'm talking about the Jamaican fans. Guess what? When I opened up the call lines this last weekend, it was very interesting. I said, let's talk about some things today. You could talk about anything. And even I tried to keep the topic focused on the meat at hand, the gold level meat. They talked about Shakari Richardson, not Javian Oliver, who won the meat, not Brianna Williams, who slipped out of the blocks, who lost her grandmother. They didn't talk about any of that. Barely mention Shelly Ann Fraser Price. This is what's happening. You, you watching this video right now, you are part of the reason in which is why it's perfectly fair that Shakari Richardson is getting the attention she does. Why? Because you click on the video. You love the drama. You don't want to admit it. Many of you love the drama. Just like it, like this. Did you know that mostly women watch fight videos on the internet? Because women love drama. So a lot of women are going to follow the drama that Richardson brings. Many women also don't watch sports like that for women. They watch men because men have some sort of drama. And then there's something about the man to them, the strength, them defeating somebody else, the conquering that attracts the women there. It's just biological differences, right? But you guys like the drama, the men and women on this channel. Y'all like the drama. Y'all gonna talk about it. When I opened up the call lines, you had some of you guys had monologues and monologues 
about Shakari Richardson. I couldn't even change the subject enough for you to come there. Only one, only two people went to something different. Our last uh, uh, caller and then one that was talking about Mboma. Other than that, it was the Richardson train. So this tells me something. You, She got you sleeping, dreaming, wishing that you were her and you don't even know it. She got you eating off her every word. She could say like one time, she likes a, a, a status. You get so much, so angry that you like, wow, I just got to say something about it. I'm asking people to call in about things. They ain't going to tell me about um, their favorite athletes. They're not calling in about Usain Bolt. They're not calling in about nobody else. So this is perfectly fair. And you know what's going to happen? She's going to get paid more than these other athletes. Now, if she doesn't know how to handle her money, hey, that's a different thing. Well, that's something completely different. I hope she does. Hey, big up to her for knowing how to get the bags there. Whether we roast her or not on this channel because she don't do her performances, that's another thing. If she trash talk and she can't perform, oh, well, we roasting her. It's going to be Forrest Gump train. We're going to be like, oh, whoop, whoop. It's going to be Forrest Gump train. But before that and otherwise, Richardson going to be held up and we're going to talk about her as she's another athlete that's out there. But guess what? A lot of y'all are not understanding. Y'all need to put ice on your head. Need to put ice on your booty and just understand that she's influencing some people there, right? She's going to have more people. I, You know what? I could do an experiment. I can drop a video tomorrow and I can name it any other athlete other than Shelly Ann Fraser Price. Probably Shelly Ann Fraser Price and Elaine Thompson here because of the makeup of my channel. But almost any other athlete would likely have more views on that uh, on my channel than a video about Shakari Richardson. I made one about her potentially winning the Olympic Games. We roasted her a couple of times, right? And I barely even post up uh, Richardson on my channel. Y'all be going to these other channels. I see 200,000 views. The comment section be full of anger. Why is Richardson? Stop watching the video. Simple. Don't click the video. The same way you don't click the video if I talk about another Jamaican athlete that isn't a big name. And if it's a male athlete, half of y'all won't even click the video. I can guarantee that. And some of y'all, y'all come here. All y'all do is hate watch on uh, Richardson. And I'm telling you, and this is uh, my my uh, subscribers are darn near. They probably mostly Jamaican that live in other countries, even though it's still uh, about 40 percent now uh, Jamaican subscribers. And then most of them are still in the U.S. So uh, but a lot of like people said, hey, they're Jamaican that live in the U.S., Jamaican that live in the U.K., or my parents were Jamaican, uh, and so on and so forth. But I'm just letting you know, that's what it is. So, she, yes, she deserves it. She gets ev everything that she gets. She deserves that. She's been working hard for it. She's been shaking her booty on the track, shaking her mouth, working what she has uh, for her, just like the video I had earlier, Sexy Ashy Asher Smith, that I released. Dina Asher Smith is out there modeling and using what works for her, right and getting money as one of the highest paid athletes in great britain as far as when i say athlete i mean track and field athlete right she might actually be the highest paid i gotta go back on that i gotta look on that i remember reading about it before but look she doesn't have any real honors behind her on a major level other than ncaa's and then she got a second which i don't know why they didn't put here for the four by one in the uh 200 but she doesn't have any of the major worlds Yet, y'all over here all up and down her every word. And she's going to get big money for it. Trike going to get uh, paychecks. I guarantee you, if it didn't work, they would drop her. If it didn't work, uh, companies and stuff wouldn't do the drama like that. Right? I'm trying to uh, stay away from the drama. And I'm going to get left behind with other people that feed into the drama. I'll be telling y'all, Justin Gatlin says something fair. And y'all over here dragging uh, Justin Gatlin. This is how I know y'all addicted to it. I know some of y'all didn't even last this far into the video. It's fine. Some of y'all heard it earlier. You rage quit. You got your panties in a bunch and you didn't make it this far. It's fine. Doesn't matter. Because what I do know, what I do know is this. Is that when Shakari Richardson comes to collect that check, a lot of y'all going to be out there confused why your favorite athlete is not getting the attention. Why they didn't highlight an Olympic bronze medalist? Why they didn't highlight somebody that made the Olympic games? Why are they highlighting this person? Well, why you over there asking why? 
She about to be over here collecting a check, getting more attention, going to have five, six, seven million uh, followers. And if she's able to convert that, that's one, that's a different uh, thing. If she's able to convert that into sales for Trike and to convert that into uh, brand recognition for other brands, oh, yes, she's going to get paid a hefty freaking dollar amount. I tell y'all all the time here. Athletes, as I'm working with the athletes now that uh, have uh, reached out to me and I've reached out to a couple of them. Look, you want to get paid for your performances other than what you're doing on the track. I say it time and time again. You must run a business separate from yourself. You are not the business. No, that's not even the proper way to think about it. You run the business separate from yourself. You are not the business. Yeah, I know Jay-Z said I'm a businessman. I'm a businessman like he's the business. No. You bring the business. You're your own self. You're an athlete separate. You're a, you run a business and then you're your own person. Those are three different things that you got to be able to balance in. And Shakari Richardson right now has to balance some of the pressure that she's going to face for failing to come up to that, whether it's publicity stunts or real. Right. And it looks like it's real because she's not running that uh, that good uh, later in the season yet again, yet again. So, like I said, why y'all over here confused? She about to be getting them checks and she about to have people animated, uh, eating off her every word. Some people may have fell, fallen off from her. But guess what? Guess what's about to happen? Guess what's about to happen? All she needs is one win and they're going to be right back there. Many of you uh, here, all you need is one win from her and then you'll be satisfied. And I mean, that's fair enough, right? You need her to start winning. If she trash talk, that's fine, right? Hey, I love a trash talker. You start winning the trash talk, I love it. Carl Lewis was one of them. People can't stand him. Yet Carl Lewis, what? He got exploded to the top stage, to the top spot. So with that being said, that's all I got for today. What y'all think about it? Leave it in the comment section below because I know only a small percentage of you guys uh, you hating it so much, you gonna see the you're you're going to see the title. You're gonna see the title and comment. I already know, and that's gonna prove my point. They didn't even make it through. I know probably about thirty percent are gonna see the title. If it's anything like that, Justin Gatlin one, they didn't even listen through. Uh, a lot of those people did not listen through. It was like thirty percent dropped before I got into his second version of talking about it because they were so angry at Justin Gatlin. Then they went back to actually listen to it. Some of them. I don't, I can't tell you what percentage there, but I could tell you when it's something to do with Richardson and Gatlin, they see the title of it and then they react. That's how, you know, somebody controlling you. I would love to have that control over somebody. Right. Then I could do the pie Piper effect, get them to give me money when it comes to, that's why I love doing uh trading. And cryptocurrencies. You predict how people are controlled by their greed and fear and over leverage themselves like the dump that happened today. And you can cash in on money like that. And you just do it a different way when it comes here with the sponsors. She grabbed the sponsors up. People eating off her every word. She typed the word violence and people are like, what does that mean? She going to come and fight somebody? Come on now. Be reasonable. Be reasonable. Get out of your feelings. Get out of your feelings. But anyway, catch you all on the next one. Peace.